Hey friends, day 19. Let me see if I can darken this so you can see the corn stalks behind me. They are massive. I am in fields and fields of corn, very close to the coast. Right on the other side is the coast, but it's a long path, lots of pilgrims walking down this path of corn, corn, corn. Okay, I'll lighten it back up a little bit. So uh, today's theme is no step is too small. I find that it is such an amazing opportunity and sometimes an incredible tension to be a human being who's capable of seeing the big picture, of being inspired, of being influenced by something beyond ourselves, of finding that we, we live from a place of source that is beyond ourselves and that in that we touch on a nobility that's big that's way beyond what we can imagine and at the same time when it comes down to our personal vision for life which is big it can feel daunting right it can feel daunting to find out that we are so far away that what we're called to be and called into and called to be of service to and called to respond to and called to recognize is so huge and in any given moment we see that we are so far away from that we experience especially in the face of the vision we can experience all of our limitations John of the Cross said so well that the more the light comes into the window of our soul, the more the light shines, the more all the dirt and all the cracks on the window can be seen. So it's going to be natural, the bigger we live, the smaller we will feel, and the more bound and more limited we're going to feel. And that brings me then to the topic that no step is too small. In fact, it's only step by step that we live into that bigness. And then we find ourselves having arrived at vista points, like taking a long hike. And you're going step by step and you're feeling it in your body and you're feeling it in your mind and heart and all of a sudden, bam, you arrive. And the vista opens up to something that's breathtaking, not only because it's breathtaking in and of itself, but because it's breathtaking, because you took all of the steps and found yourself there. And you always take them in grace, so it's not all about you. I mean, it's not all up to you. <laughs> I want to uh, assure you that each step is guided and supported as well. I have a great example of this. There was a young woman uh, one time who was sharing with me that, and she was a chain smoker, and she knew she needed to stop smoking. She was young. She was like 22 years old, 21 years old. She knew she needed to stop smoking, but she realized that in that big call to stop smoking, she didn't desire to stop smoking. That even though she knew that was life-giving, she knew that was the truth that would set her free, she was honest enough in that moment to be able to say, but you know what? I don't even desire to stop smoking. So her prayer, her daily prayer, was praying for the grace to desire to stop smoking. It was one step towards the realization of her inspiration and her vision. I think this is a prime example of knowing ourselves well enough to only ask of ourselves where, from where we truly are and from what we truly can do. And she could pray with all her heart. She could pray for the grace to desire to stop smoking. Isn't that brilliant? I was so inspired by her. I still am. So what's a small step that you're being called into today? Because each movement of the foot, as a metaphor, each movement of the leg, each deliberation of the mind, each opening of the heart can be a resting point as you awaken into 
the fullness of the vision to which you're called. Small steps. No step is too small. And there are only small steps. Okay, I love you all. There are tons of corn trucks. I better get off here. Okay, I send you so many blessings. Keep up all the great work. Thanks for walking with me. Bye.